Hey guys, so welcome to the channel. Today we are looking into some frequently asked Flutter interview questions specifically related to the blog. So if you are practicing for an interview or if you are looking for an interview question cheat sheet, then this video is perfect for you. And if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to click on subscribe button. So without talking further, let's get started. So let's start the Flutter blog interview question. Sometimes what happens, we learn the hard advanced thing, but we forget to learn the basic and that question will ask in your interview. So let's start with the basic, what is block? So block is a state management technique for your Flutter application. Uh, we are going to create a multiple event to interact with our UI and block will be in, in charge to emit the respected state. Let's take an example to understand. Uh, let's suppose if I have a one login screen, there is a one login button. Now user has clicked on the button. At that time, one event is triggered that user has pressed the button. Now it will tell the blog that user has pressed the button. So perform whatever logic you have written in your blog code. So blog will perform that logic and decide the output like it is a success or it is a failure. After that, it will emit the respected state the um, and it will interact with the ui that the successful screen is up here or or the failure screen is up here that is all what block is now let's go to the second question so what is different between the qubit and block so as we understand earlier block is what we have to uh, input some event and uh, state will be the output of the block right qubit is also a subset of the block pattern but it, it's not same as the block. Uh, in qubit, what will happen? We have to only send the state to trigger that state. We can do by calling the function. So that is all what qubit is. Now, uh, if you have implemented block state management in your Flutter application, then you, you must aware with the basic term, like what is block builder, what is block provider, what is block listener, what is multiple block, uh, multi-block provider, right? So we are going to cover two important frequently question in an interview. That is what block provider and what is block builder. So let's first understand what is block provider. So block provider is a flutter widget that create and provide a block to all of its children. Let's suppose say, as you can see in the image, there is a one block A and there is a sub children of multiple children of it, right? So you can use this as a subtree in your uh, process. What is block builder? So as we understand from the earlier example that we have a one login screen, one log login button, right? So whenever block emit the state, it is a successful or failure, then which UI we have to display, all this action will perform in the block builder. So block builder which help to rebuild the UI based on the block state. Here, as you can see in the function, how can we declare the builder block builder function? So we have to pass our block, our state, and in builder, we build, uh, have to write our UI code. Like based on this state, we have to display this UI. Now, the next is, what are some way to handle the error generated by async function in your Flutter code? So obviously you are familiar with this one. There are two ways to handle the error. First is write all your code in, in try catch block or another way is you can use the method future dot catch error and you can perform that action in that particular method. So it's the simple one. And last one is a common question. Like sometimes in interview they are asked like uh, uh, some of the widget you know or not to check that they are asked the basic question like what is stream builder, what is list view, what is text fill. So this is some basic description like how can you describe. Let's take an example. What is stream builder? Then stream builder is a widget that build, build itself based on the latest snapshot of a stream. So whatever data we receive from the API or our local database, the stream builder will display the UI, uh, display that data in the UI accordingly. So I guess that's it for the today video. If you want more video of this type of Flutter interview question, then let me know in the comment section, then I will make more videos on it. And if you don't uh, uh, follow me on Instagram, then follow now. I will uh, upload a daily post on programming re related to the Flutter. So follow me there also. 
and if you like this video then like it subscribe the channel to for more video bye bye